Hi everyone, it's Hippie Chick. I'm here at the ranch. It is Wednesday, May 17. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. There might be a little noise. There's a huge freight train going through. I am right now at the gate. We're gonna do a little walkabout. I'll try and stay in shade so I could actually see my screen. There is check-in. It looks magnificent. A little bit of wood to be chipped. And this is the back road that goes to the house. It also looks magnificent. Here is check-in area. Now, I don't know if you recall, a few weeks ago, this had some big chunks of dirt taken out of it. And now, remember the swimming hole I was talking about? There's one of them. This area seems pretty solid. We could probably only fit one or two cars for check-in here, though. They're going to have to go up to the area further up. Yeah, that one right in the center of the screen right now. All right, let's walk to gate camp. So here's a close-up of check-in. Don't mind the wood debris that'll be gone when you get here. Here's the river. It's not uh, as thick anymore, nor as deep. It's about six to eight feet wide and only about two feet deep at the deepest, it looks. And here we are at gate camp. Pretty level. Looks like they tried to do some tractoring and got a little bit stuck. Give it a little more time to dry out. But as you can see, it's very clear now. Uh, the entrance to the, the little shack is available. You can walk all the way back here. More wood piles. And there's a lot of camping back here in the shade and that's that all right we're gonna walk about and i'll catch you on chill village road okay we're back it's gonna be a little bit louder now because the train is right next to me here we go that's the main road and here we are in chill village and i'm not gonna lie guys it's still quite lumpy and bumpy if it remains this way and we have no tractor access, we are going to have to have people walk their stuff into camp. And I hate to say it, but I still see water. Uh, the, this part of the road is dried, but it appears there's still mud right in here. If you recall, this is where that gigantic hole was that was about 20 feet long and about four feet deep. There's the road to Broken Staples, but we're not here for that. We're checking out Chill Village now. Oh my. Um, it has dried out significantly, but I don't know what this mud puddle is. Uh, Jim has not gotten back to me on what he did or didn't do or if he's coming back. But this uh, doesn't look good, guys. It's very muddy. All right, let's walk to the back. This is where we had the taco guys last time and that's typically where we'd be putting the stage and it doesn't look like it's going to be good. Alright, our dams seem to have worked. 
This seems to have dried out quite a bit. It looks like Jim came through here with a tractor. And this is the back way to where Susanna and Eka have their little boutique thing. And uh, truth be told, it's still a little muddy, but remember, we got two and a half, three weeks now. Wow, look at this, a telephone pole. That wasn't here. I don't know if Jim brought that in to make a dam or what. Uh, I don't want to get stuck in mud. Here, let me move around. This is the back arch road. That's just a mud puddle. Uh, I don't think we'll allow campers in there unless it dries out in two weeks. You know, it's a little lumpy. All right, here's river camping where Jim and his kid Bailey and Zach and I think Eka are going to want to camp. Now, this is just a tributary of the river. It's only a couple inches deep. See? Beautiful. And then the main, it catches up with the main river about 30 yards away. And uh, it's all sandy down there, guys. We could have a lot of water sports. Uh, all right, I am going to attempt to, uh, no, I'm not. I'll catch up to you guys in a minute on the road to Broken Staple Village. Hi, guys, I'm still at Chill Village. This is the front side of that arch road, and it doesn't look entirely muddy like the back side does, so there could be some camping there. Hi, right, let me pan around. And we're on the road to Broken Staple Village. And hopefully, there's not a river running through it. Can you hear all those birds, guys? It's magnificent. Okay, here we go. We're somewhat close. Hey, it looks like Broken Staple Village has dried out. Oh, this is great. Oh my, oh, this is wonderful. All right, our dam worked. <coughs> this is typically where the chops camp. And as you can see, we got some significant wood piles over here. But Broken Staple Village looks nice and dry. Let's go take the back road to Todd Sparrow Village. Sorry for the jumpiness. Now, a few people camped back in here. It's kind of jungly. But, uh, new camping sites for the ones we're going to lose. All right, Todd Sparrow Camp. There is some wood to chip here, obviously, but it looks like our dam held, and so that would mean this area has got to dry out a little bit. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's gorgeous. Quick pan. Lots of spaces. It's nice and dried out. And there should be a back path that goes to Broken Staple. So let's go that way. Oh, it's nice and dry back here. Oh, this is good. As you can see, Jim cleared a lot of stuff for us with a tractor while we were gone. Kind of made this road a little less muddy. It's still sinking, but it's not like it was.
And here we are back at Broken Staples. Okay. Let's walk up to stage next. I think it should be the same as when I showed you two weeks ago. But well, let's just double check. Tell everyone that's coming not to bring tarps, but to bring plastic like landscaping sheeting for uh, under their tents because it is still very wet. All right, here we go. Oh, look at all the cotton. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hi, Chuck. Hey. <laughs> This is the road from the stage to Broken Staples. This was real muddy. It looks like Jim fixed this up for me too. It still needs to dry a little bit. And this back road, looks like they've tried to level shit up, but it's just been really muddy. All right, back up to the stage like I promised. All right, dance floor. Magnificent. And main stage area. Still looks really nice. Alright, I'm gonna catch up to you. Hi guys, I'm back. We're up here by the little house by the stage, and I just noticed that they have cleared all the cars out of here. There were like four or five of them. But They have now put those cars over here. I don't know if that's good or bad for us. I don't know if these are being moved at some point and that's why they are here because I do believe Jim is trying to get everything off property. I will try and find out for you and give you any news. In the meantime, this is the parking area. Let's go into parking camp first before I give you the wide shot. So Jojo, you're asking about your camp. Here we go. Nice and dry. Most of the nettles have been pulled out. I'll do a quick pan. Now we could do some shipping in here, but it is not one of my priorities, just so you know. There's room for, I don't know, six to eight, maybe 10 tents if you're real friendly. All right. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> Let's go to the parking lot, shall we? Ta-da! I'm going to get to a point in the shade where I could do a big pan. We're in the car camping area by Meadow Camp right now. And, oh, some shade. All right, here's the big pan. Let's start from left to right. All right, those are all the cars that I don't know what's happening with them. I'm assuming they're gonna be gone by the time we show up. And slow pan, because if there's something you notice, there's only one pile of junk left. It's fucking amazing. All right, let's walk a bit. We'll go down to Meadow Camp. You guys will get to see the dam that the volunteers built. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> All right, I do believe we kind of made an entry this way as well as the back way. So there are two piles of trash up at the top. I don't think we can make them any smaller or do anything with them, so we'll probably just have to work around them. Uh, we have a lot more space up at the top than we have in the past.
Okay. Hopefully I don't fall on my ass. We are back at Meadow Camp, which the last time you saw it looked terrible because the tractor got stuck in here. Sorry for, sorry for the jiggly ride. He came down the hill with me. But it looks like a bunch of us used a bunch of hand shovels to try and bring this back. So it looks like our ploy worked. There's a big pile of junk that's a lot of trash. I don't think I'm just we're gonna deal with. We could just leave it there. But Meadow Camp looks beautiful. Uh, there is some wood piles that could be chipped up a little. But let's show you the dam. This is where that other swimming hole was too. Oh wow, the river's gone down significantly. Significantly. So uh, there's our dam. It was awesome the day we built it. But uh, the river's uh, thinning out and uh, drying up and who knows how much water we'll actually have here in three weeks. All right, I'm done with the tour. Thanks for listening. See you Tuesday.